we have another Final Fantasy VII Rebirth pre-record. I'm doing this uh, fairly early for me. Not that early, but... Um, I don't know when I'm going to stream this next. So I figured I would just... Alright, let's see what's biting today. You know, do some side content. Content. That word really has a... <laughs> I say it and it gets stuck in my throat like a... Like a cough. But, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the next morning, the next day, and I figured I would do some of this stuff. Where are those robed fellas I know I have to, to basically go to the inn and talk to Yuffie. Pretty sure I've sniffed up, huh? You're not looking to throw down, are ya? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Why are there cowboys in the Final Fantasy the universe? but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? I mean, I know the answer to that. It's because it's fantasy. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to ask questions, but Tifa had a cowboy outfit in the original. And I'm assuming they just extrapolated that. And they're like, yeah, no, there's cowboys. doing top lane here. I don't know if I'm gonna get to use the, the magic pot. That would have been so good there. But that is better. That is not good. Hmm. You broke my card. Titan would be great. Ah, oh, man. Man. Raise power by one for each other enhanced allied card. All right. I need more enhancements to work with Chocobo Moogle. Don't do it.
gonna enhance the top row. As long as they don't try to destroy a card. Which I don't think... I don't think they can right now. Alright, that's good. Thank you, Chocobo Moogle, for, for being so kind. Get a load of this guy! He destroyed his own card! And now we hope for the best. Fuck. Really hoping we would start with Chocobo Moogle, but... Alright. I do need a better 3-star. 3-pawn. Three Can't take that top row now, son. Okay. That's pretty good. Boy, if I had Chocobo Moogle. Should have placed the wolf down. It's all right. A one. Well, it wasn't as bad as Crybaby Ned. Or embarrassing. When played, spawn Diamond Dust of power 2, 4, or 6 in empty positions. Damn. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. I like how Barrett and Aerith were watching that whole thing. Barrett was like, I like the way you um, play cards, Cloud. Fast travel currently unavailable. What do you mean, though? Brittle houses in this. Back in the day, it was lousy with fishing boats. I thought this would be a great time to do side quests. Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Back 
Barrett is the perfect backdrop. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. What with the lack of sunlight, I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, tell that to Square Enix about other promising spots. I'm gonna try to leave Junon manually. Manually. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. Brittle houses in the sea air. Isn't Priscilla just a oil, coal, wind? Well, now what? Back in the day, it was lousy. That's okay. That's that's not great. I thought rest, resting at the inn was a way for you to. I thought that was like a stealth way to um, say, you know, go do side quests. I don't know. There's a part of me that wants to do it on the stream. There's another part we that feels like, well, what what harm would it be to do it now? Man, I was all ready to go. That sucks. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> Dog didn't uh, like that. Could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So, if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I agree I'll with break Barrett. It to her gentle. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head what and the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing only that something is like it's on the tip of my tongue but I just can't remember damn whispers speaking of you seen them lately the fuck <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. No. All clear here, officer. <laughs> well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. That was a different voice. I like that she gave him shit. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. Fifteen hours ago. How Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. 
So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. <laughs> I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Normally, I wouldn't want to be doing stuff like this, uh, not on stream, but this town makes here we are. Line. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Don't worry, never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all to you then. Oops. Is that bad? Poor no. I'm sorry, Red 13, I'm sorry. Wait, where, where is Tifa's room? Tifa? Tifa, dot, dot, dot. Cloud, I've been a figment of your imagination. And then she she turns into a, a dude with in a black robe, and he's like, "Oh, oh, Beavis and Butthead." Oh, hey. Awkward. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I. You. Say it. Say you're sorry regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. That's nice of you, Cloud. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Well. Say... Do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... Grown up, much like didn't blood. even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? <laughs> I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? She means puke. With my iron stomach? Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Night. I'll turn in early tonight. Okay.
yeah, that that um that conversation is happening earlier than I expected. Like the 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 doubt of Cloud. It's warranted. I mean, you know, without spoiling too much, it's like you know, this game definitely deals with memory. Or at least the original did. That's how Cloud sleeps. That's just his normal sleeping. Barrett was gonna turn her down. The gang's all here. Oh god. Oh no. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wu Tai <laughs> government. God. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> mm. Wu Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. Do we? Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that one. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. <laughs> Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Cloud. Seriously, yes. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! Rufor. And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there, here, keep calling anyway. him. A, I like that. Enjoy Call him a douchebag more. I like Yuffie if she keeps calling people douchebags. Had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, oh god, it's I think it's Roche. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you because I would love to do it. Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. I don't know, you know, in terms of original new characters, it's going to be Chadley number one, and then Roche number two, I would say. I want that Honestly, Roche merch. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Mersh. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? 
It only takes two to tango. Besides, his beard looks like painted on. I like it. This Good for him. Just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out and High wind our spotted. last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. I think this guy's the douchebag. You got some weird friends, man. <laughs> we might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Sephiroth's up Don't take her for even a second we did that for you. The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Fast travel's now available. Well, again, I'm not I'm not particularly happy about having to do story related stuff off stream and uh, sorry about that. But now you can, you know, click off if you don't want to watch the side quests. Yeah, it, it kind of it does suck a little bit to divvy things up too much. And uh you know, having to watch a stream and then then the full like a YouTube channel to, to watch more of the stuff. I know it sucks, but for a game that's this big, it's just preferable to not oh, always be streaming and doing tons here. of side quest stuff. I wonder where the owner's hiding. Who are you? Wait, you didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. Do what? Oh, God damn it! I told Is this what old people look like? I've never down. seen one. Swamplands are dangerous, even on Choco back. I'm Gabe, by the way, owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And, since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but... nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey... I don't like his nipples. I wouldn't nipples. be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. I don't want to look at this guy anymore. Pretty, pretty, please? Yes. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but... I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. I got the chocobo already. Heard by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. She certainly was. But now she's with us. 
That's so. All right, let's roll. That's so. Why you doubt me? Of course I have this bird. I've got this magical bird. Magical bird. Um, who me? Magical bird. 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 Who's got the, um... Orchid. It says Tifa, but hang on a minute. Tifa's magic is full. Or uh, all her s the slots for materia are full. Weird. Alright. Can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <sighs> Afraid so. Huh. That jerk. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. <sighs> Can I help you? Is your name Wayne? We're trying to fix Gabe's cart. Your name's Wayne, right? Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow. Or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? Uh, scared me half to death. Do you want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Use the map to locate the materials. I mean, the good thing about the side quests, I'm sure there are people who are going to watch, like, every stream of this, and, or every video of this, whatever. I can't really blame you, because you do get little character moments that I think are, are nice. No nothing too substantial, but hearing Aerith say that is fun. So those are all not in this region, so we don't we don't have to fuck with that right now. We're, we're just gonna continue exploring. Did that say Piedmont? Because hmm. the Piedmont. I don't know if it's the location or if it's the name of the company. They made those terrorist uh, terrorist guards. Cherish. I love these chocobos so much. Well, this particular chocobo. Like, 
uh, honestly, the environments are a joy in this game. Just even, like, seeing the locations. Not even necessarily, like, the traversal's fine. I don't think it's as good as Tears of the Kingdom, but not much is. But the environments themselves are, to me, interesting enough to justify, and beautiful enough to justify me wanting to go see them. Am I going? It's nice of them to paint the chocobo on the uh, on the on the walls. <laughs> Big kick. Big chocobo kick. kind of hoping there would be like a, a fast way to do this like you just run up and like a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of thing many people haven't heard of Sonic the Hedgehog but it's a, an obscure Sega character from the 70s that uh, was on the Sega at DK1 and um, it's basically a mouse with needles on it and he went really fast up walls. And uh, unfortunately, Sega tried a different mascot. It was like a sentient booker. And it worked. It worked a lot better. And so they, they just kept making games. Now, you all know uh, Scumshot, the cock blaster. But no one knows Sonic. It's sad, really, Think of a universe that could have been, could have been. Yeah, there's also Cockshank the Hedge Fund. A lot of interesting characters that Sega was tossing the salad of around that time. It's like a geocache. Who's leaving this stuff? How the fuck is anyone supposed to traverse any of this without a chocobo? This specific chocobo.
And we went deep into these mountains, and... I was gonna try to get to that tower. This feels like a quest location. For another occasion. Worf would be proud of the Chocobo for kicking that blue barrel. I'm enjoying the music here. I think it's it's good, it's adventurous, it's fun. But there is something about the way U Uematsu can just pull soul out of a song, out of a melody, out of um, a progression that so few people can do. I'm not gonna... I know Soken is amazing. And he's proven it to me. Like, I've already come to terms with the fact that, you know, not come to terms with, but like, I, I'm already aware that there are many, many talented composers out there. But, man, Uematsu is, he, he's a genius. He really is a genius as far, oh, there's a Fort Condor. The Condor stretched its wings, that's, that's cool. And while I'm enjoying the incidental music in the game, or the extra additional music, I think some of it's actually really quite good. I don't know if it's because I grew up with the original Final Fantasy. It probably is. It might be just because... <clears throat> Final Fantasy VII was, like, some of the first music... ...outside of, um the music I was listening to already, like rock music, that really struck a chord with me. But I wonder, is it because of the game that it struck a chord, or was the music so good on its own? That, um, I was gonna love it no matter what. My guess is... My guess is that the game's music is so good and so highly regarded by many people that even if there wasn't a game attached to it, it would still be great. Radiant Ward, that one sounds good. I need another cure materia on Aerith because her prayer materia is good, but it's not like, you know, you need to uh, get two full bars to use it. So anyway, my rambling, all I'm trying to say is I, I think Uematsu is on a higher level for me personally than most of most of the other game composers I've ever heard, period. Like, Mitsuda is, is right up there with him, but... You know, that's rarefied air as far as I'm concerned. And there's almost definitely the nostalgic factor of having grown up with the game and, and the music and listened to it so many times that, um... That why, when I hear that, I'm instantly like, oh man, this shit's amazing. It's it definitely a good chunk of that. As well. Take this planet's wisdom. 
Cloud, I am lonely. Cloud, by analyzing the life, I was able to locate an old... It can be found within a... Dare. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do you mind your step as you proceed? The amount of fucking, like, vitriol I've seen for Chadley on the internet has been... A lot. It's been a lot. It's actually... I'm not going to say it's gratifying. Because it's not. But, you know, it, it's a little bit like... Like, man... At least he's got unique materia. Every time, I have to do the noise chat. I know there's no chat here right now. Maybe there is. I don't know if Johnny's premiering this. If so, hi, chat. I want to specifically thank uh, Ubercock chat member. That's their name in chat right now. Ubercock chat member, thank you for the uh, 12 month sub. <laughs> Whatever happens on YouTube. How in the name of fuck do we get here? wrong path, maybe. This stuff is so... It's so windy. I don't, I don't think there's a way up. Maybe there is? All the roads we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead us there are blinding. Or lead, a, lead the way. Heard Wonderwall 10,000 times and I don't remember the lyrics. I remember when Wonderwall first hit the radio, actually. It was before this, uh, before the original game, Final Fantasy VII, came out. The hit PlayStation game. tower first. Oh boy, the Moogles. I've seen some discourse about them Moogles lately. Apparently a lot of Japanese fans also don't like the design of the Moogles. They're weird. They're definitely weird. They're not the worst things I've ever seen, but they're weird. Hmm. 
we don't have ice. Barrett doesn't have ice, rather. So it's my turn? Yeah. Yeah, use that blizzard shit. Ooh! You can do it. My turn. Let's go. I'm trying to like evenly use as many of the party members as possible, except Barrett, who I will use more. <laughs> I, I I can't help it. I love Barrett. <laughs> he needs to be in the party. Am I going to do wacky Moogle shit now, is the question. And the answer is... Yes, I'm going to do wacky Moogle shit now. This isn't just a Mog house, it's a Mog home. Hey, Cloud, it's me, Moogle! Horror. Wait until Moogles go um, public domain. There Would will be a horror film. Up all the Mooglets for me. into a whirlwind. Why though? I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of this. That confused me. It was like, lure it into the whirlwind, but that's not how you capture them. I got confused. I could have had that other one. God damn it, Malulu. The whirlwind completely fucking threw me off. Why is Cloud now half Moogle? Oh, I get it. So, 
there was Moog synthesizer over there. Okay, now I understand. Appeals. Thanks so much, Koopa. I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag oh God, together won't have to faces. go faces. They're so long. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. They look like scummy Muppets. Scuppets. Anything interesting catch your eye, Koopo? Why did it give me that map? Did I like teleport over there M with Moogle magic? I do love seeing Fort Condor in the distance there. I think it's neat. It's a lot of fucking shipwrecks. Just some phenomenal environmental design. And again, I do realize that this game and modern Square Enix is filling in the blanks of what was ostensibly a fairly empty world map. I wonder what Ocarina of Time would look like if they did this to it. Which they should.
never do it. it I'll show you what I can do. Look what I can do. No, leave Aerith alone. Jeez. Boy, I gotta give Aerith the HP up stuff. I don't think Aerith actually managed to cast that spell. No, it's not. It's your turn. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's on you. Holy shit. I hate this thing. This bird eats shit, bird. Let's do this. I won't give up. Do your thing. Fucking bird, bird Roth over here. Take it from here. Yes, This tower climbing shit, it's just like blatantly Ubisoft. So like, why why are we climbing the tower? Well, it's actually, I'd say it's actually probably, yeah, Ubisoft did it with Far Cry first, and then Zeld did it, and now Final Fantasy's doing it. This is, granted, a lot simpler than Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. It's just climb a couple ladders. But even then, I don't, I don't even see the point in a game like this where traversal is, is is reduced to, like, touch ladder, climb ladder. To me, it seems a trifle unnecessary. A, a trifle. But I'm also being grumpy about it. It's, it's a very, very minor thing. It's nothing that's gonna subtract uh, points from the score. Not like Cloud not getting wet. If Cloud doesn't get wet and pull some cushions out of his ass, then I don't even, I don't even know. Like, what am I even playing the game for? Hello, Cloud. Oh. Exercise caution. Rare Zenzelet variant identified. Commencing okay, guidance then. protocol. Zenzelet is known as the Sea King of the Sky. Not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable defense. Oh, and please, these feathers have been prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Aerospy. 
that. The men are particularly valuable. They're said to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing even solid stone. You got this! Oh. Ooh, don't use it on Aerith! Oh, I should have used the... I should have equipped the thing. This Radiant Ward is excellent. Alright, we got some Stagger. This is good. Time for oh a summon Shiva yeah this is the right summon for this job. Sorry, I know. Prevent it's enemies from taking flight while using soothing breeze. Oh well. Heavenly strike. Don't overdo it. I'm coming. Go, Shiva. Good job, Cloud. <laughs> Good job. Good job with that, pal. Rat eliminated. That is a thing I will not be attempting to do at all. Getting, you know, the the the, the maximum amount of um of points for the the fights, the rando fights. There, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's that's not happening. I I don't have the patience, and it, the rewards probably aren't worth it enough. So far, the open world stuff in this game. I say open world very loosely when I say open worlds. Please be aware. But um, so far it's still working on me. And I look forward to doing this stuff. That's why I, I actually, I broke one of my rules and, and showed some story at the beginning of this video. Because I had like an hour and a half. I'm gonna have to go in a minute, actually. Because um, I have a studio day today, but... You know, I was looking forward to it. And I'm just going to play more tomorrow and combine them, so that way I can finish probably all of the Junon region. So yeah, so far, so good. I could do one more point of interest, and then I have to get going. But this whole area is just cool.
inside a ship. It's amazing what the planet is capable of. This is like when coral grows on condoms. It's miraculous. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh-impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of their enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor, and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai, the stronghold resembles a vast battleship, risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. I will save here. This video will continue. Uh, so yeah, I will, it will be like 24 hours from now, but for you it will be the blink of an eye. It's as close to time travel as you can get. Thank you for watching, for now. See you in a minute. Uh, chat. I kind of made a little bit of a mistake with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. What I mean by that is, I did a pre-record of it. And, um... I ended up doing some story. I couldn't do the open world stuff unless I did the story. So, uh, unfortunately, there's like 10 minutes of stuff happening in the game that you haven't seen and because we haven't uploaded it we haven't had a chance to now this video is only like an hour and 20 minutes of me doing side quest stuff but there's a moment where i have to go into the inn and there's some character stuff and there's some stuff with yuffie i'm gonna play it for you and i'm gonna keep my mouth shut and then what i think johnny's gonna do what i would like johnny to do is add the pre-record onto this video at the beginning and then timestamp it. I know that's not a great solution. It's very inelegant, but I do think that's the best way to see the story. And then if you want to watch the video later and see me do some side quests, that's how you can do that. So um, I'm just going to play this. I'm going to mute myself. Now Vinny, future Vinny, is going to uh, mute. Man, I was all ready to go. That sucks. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> Dog didn't uh, like that. Could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So, if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened?
It's open. That was future Vinny. I'm, I'm gonna mute for real. You won't hear me again. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid. What do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I agree I'll with Barrett. To her gentle. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. What? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? The fuck? <laughs> Cloud. Who are you talking to? Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. No. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. <laughs> well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. That was a different voice. Come in. I like that she gave him shit. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. Fifteen I hours ago. How Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick. Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. <laughs> I saw it, you know. In a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Normally, I wouldn't want to be doing stuff like this, uh, not on stream, but this town reeks of here we are. Wine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Don't worry, never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all to you then. Oops. Is that bad? Poor no. I'm sorry, Red 13. I'm sorry. Wait, where, where is Tifa's room? Tifa? Tifa. Dot, dot, dot. Cloud. I've been a figment of your imagination. And then she she turns into a, a dude with in a black robe, and he's like, "Oh, oh, Beavis and Butthead." Oh, hey. Awkward. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I. You. Say it. Say you're sorry. Regret what I said in calm. Oh, come in. That's nice of you, Cloud. I should have never doubted you. 
It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Well. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Much like Didn't Blood. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah. And what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model and... <sighs> You're not interested, are you? Not really. But uh, I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? <laughs> I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? She means puke. With my iron stomach? Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Night. Turn in early tonight. Okay. Yeah, that that um that conversation is happening earlier than I expected. Like the 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 doubt of Cloud. It's warranted. I mean, you know, without spoiling too much, it's like you know, this game definitely deals with memory. Or at least the original did. That's how Cloud sleeps. That's just his normal sleeping. Barrett was going to turn her down. The gang's all here. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wu Tai <coughs> government. God. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. <laughs> <sighs> Wu Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. Do we? Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. <laughs> alone so far from home is expensive so I've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is I came here and lucky I did because I met Rhonda she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is cloud seriously yes <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus Freakin' Shinra!
Rufor. And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there, here, keep calling him. A, I like that. Enjoy Call him a douchebag more. I like Yuffie if she keeps calling people douchebags. Had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, oh god, it's I think it's Roche. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now, you don't More want like to douche. come in there and fetch you because I would love to do it. Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. I don't know, you know, in terms of original new characters, it's going to be Chadley number one, and then Roche number two, I would say. I want that Honestly, Roche merch. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Mersh. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, his beard looks like painted on. Big, I like it. This Good for him. Just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out and High wind our spotted. last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. I think this guy's the douchebag. <laughs> we might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. And that is where the story ends. Well, wait, actually, hang on. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Sephiroth's up don't take us for even a second. We did that for you. The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't. Because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Okay. Fast travel is now available. So that is what happened, chat. I stopped there when I was live last week. And I thought for sure, or not last week, a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, now I can do side quests. And what happened was it was locked until I did that cutscene. So this is a mess. I understand it. I'm going to hopefully not do that again. But yeah, for anyone just joining, that was actually my pre-record. Um, we're going to cut that into the video, all of the side quest stuff, and then add it to the live stuff, I think. I think. But yeah, now we can actually play. Hmm. That's weird. Where is my... That is very, very weird, chat. Hang on. I just noticed that my um, capture card isn't showing up.
in the, the list there. I have an idea of why that's happening, but... Yep, got it. Now I need audio. All right, cool. Wow, amazing. We did it. So I did some stuff, just so you can see. Um, for anyone on the Full Sauce channel, now I am live again, clearly. So, yeah, I was just going around doing a bunch of random shit. Just finding things and doing fights and stuff. I'm going to do a little bit more of that, but um, it's a shame because I do want to play this game like a good chunk of it because I'm really enjoying even just traveling around the world, but it does get a little difficult because I don't want to do it all on stream. So I'm trying to find the right balance. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, I'll make sure... Let's just put it this way. I will make sure I can do side quests before I stop streaming. But, yeah, ne now <clears throat> I'll do a couple more side quests and then we'll go to uh, do the, the stuff on top side of uh, Junon. Also, uh, Square contacted me. Someone representing Square or whatever. They're a very weird company, but they want epic clips for uh, a compilation. So I'm going to do the fakest reaction ever to a moment where I, like, check out a beautiful vista. I'm also sending them, um, just to see if it gets in the compilation, right? But I also have some clips that are actually funny, like... Barrett knocking shit over, for example. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get in there and crack some more Shinra skulls. Um, before we do this, are we sure we can get back? Based on the analysis of your previous trip, I am confident you'll return following the conclusion of the match. Failing that, you may be assured that I will retrieve you myself. They won't pick you unless you use a webcam. Well, then I don't get picked. Plain and simple. But I have three clips. Uh, two of them are funny clips, and one is me reacting to Fort Condor for the first time. But I'm just gonna, um... I don't think I'll ever get used to this. Hang on. Full it's dynamic so range bad. was on. It was a little oh. too much. Make a fake Get webcam. In! Troopers, you're just in time. Come, friends. Let us join forces to lay waste to those fiends and reclaim my treasure. What do you mean, your treasure? It came from our world. It belongs to us. Oh, cease your whinging, man. We've no time for it. Right now, we can but charge! Your mission is to help us break like through Gilgamesh. the enemy lines and retrieve the artifact they stole. With the captain's aggressive approach, I fear we'll surely fail. Please, we can't succeed without you. Oh. <laughs> captain! We're coming! That's our cue. <laughs> Again, there are there is uh, a version of this where, <laughs> like, someone modded original Final Fantasy VII to have better graphics. And it looks a little more like this, or at least the models do. Uh, how do I switch? Oh. Hang on. I have to try to remember how to do this again.
When is your full playthrough of Final Fantasy XIII pass? Oh man, that thing- Whoa, whoa, it just busted through! What are you doing, man? Get it! We need to summon a couple more and then we can get Cloud on the battlefield. Cloud, go! Hopefully Cloud will be okay over there. Can supplement the cloudage with a ranger. And then, the more units you use of a certain type, the more you can summon... Oh boy, um... The, the hero characters. Or the, the quicker you can, rather. So right now, Cloud is taking some damage. Oh, that sucks. He's dead. Well, good luck, Barret. Sending Barret deep into enemy territory. I read um, a good thing about Barret, which is that, like, he grounds this game a little bit, so, like, people could be talking about the most weird fantasy shit, and he's like, the hell did you say? What is this shit? And it just brings you right back down to Earth, and it just, like, it helps make the story more digestible. Which I, I agree with. I, I love what Barrett adds to the, the story. He's, the, he's this game's Riker, that's right, yeah, he is. He's, he's the Riker of the game. Chat, will I still win if I don't destroy the tower? No? No, they changed that. That's cool. This game is fun, but it could be BS at times. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really do enjoy this, but, uh, yeah, it seems a little bit... tricky. Yeah, I just, like, plowed right through that, huh? Oh, are we trading? I think we're trading.
worth it to get Barrett. Did Barrett just kill uh, a, a, a friend? I don't know if that's what happened, but I, I didn't like it very much. <laughs> Whatever was happening there, I didn't like it very much. Okay, well, we got this side. Tifa. Oh, I should have summoned that near the enemies. I didn't consider what was... Shit. No, attack the Enforcer. Attack the Enforcer. Did Tifa die already? Chat, that is awful. What happened to Tifa? This is not good. May as well restart. Am I gonna get this ever? I don't know. This time I'm gonna make sure Tifa doesn't die. Report Tifa for feeding, GG. <coughs> I'm gonna rush tower one. Rush tower one. Rush tower one. Save for Tifa. Save for Tifa. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Oh man, this one unit is preventing me from placing more units up there. Wow, really rushing is kind of an amazing strategy. Incredible strategy, in fact. You got this. Cleric's heal? Oh, that's what's going on there? Captain! We've won! Indeed. Yet we shan't rest till my prize is mine once more. Now, charge! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> <laughs> you fool! He hasn't adjusted to his strange new body. What is the meaning of this? Captain! Wait! Don't leave without us! Elite Enforcer and two clerics is a really good opener. I'll remember that for next time. Oh, yeah, eat Sorry. shit. Don't be. I wish I could have done more. 
But there was so much interference. We're dealing with a powerful energy source. Powerful enough. Hey, Chadley. I think I heard the captain call the proto relic his treasure or something. You know anything about that? Sadly, no. While I could offer theories, I require more data to speak with confidence. I can, however, inform you of the relic's location. Let's head there next. Okay. I mean, I enjoy the Fort Condor stuff anyway, so I don't mind doing it, but I'm not going to do that other one right away. Let's do a couple things. Uh, we'll, we'll search around for some fun stuff. And uh, this I'll probably do on my own time, and that way we can make progress, because I really want to experience more story stuff on the stream. Also, this is the type of game that does kind of require, like, a good five-hour stream. I actually do mostly look forward to battles in this game, which in a lot of RPGs, I mean this has got an action RPG system and everything, but in a lot of RPGs I do not. Like, um, I'll even say it, original Final Fantasy VII, the random battles, even in Nine, one of my favorite games of all time, it's just the random battles eventually start making me, uh, they start, uh, making the game a little bit chorish it doesn't detract but i'll tell you what game kind of does skies of arcadia another one of my favorite games so obviously it's not detracting enough for it to be one of my favorite games ever made but skies of arcadia had a brutal encounter rate that apparently they lowered for the gamecube version Oh, there's the bird. Bird, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, that's right, I still have to do the, the moment chat. I have to pretend... I'm gonna do the most fake overreaction of a landscape. Okay, it's not gonna be that fake, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna overreact. I will submit it as a clip and see what happens. They may not accept because chat member may be right. Maybe if without a, a webcam. I'm uh, an undesirable. What's all this stuff doing here? We're rich if we just steal this guy's shit. There's like gold bars over here. Who is... who... what? Put up meat? I can put up meat for like a second, yeah. It's another treasure uh, over there. Just, <laughs> I can see the compilation video now. Just a bunch of people reacting to the game being nice looking and then like a meat creature. Yo, I just got cremerled. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, sure, that's scenic, but... You know what? Maybe this is the moment right here. Yeah, I think this will be it. Alright, here we go. Hang on. Put it on performance mode. <laughs> Let's see. No, uh, meat worm. Meat worm tuber. Okay, here we go. Okay, chat. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do this. Alright. Wait for the right moment, and then get me a nice clip of this chat, and I would be so happy. It would be so beautiful. Okay, you ready? Wow! Oh my god. That's Junon. The cannon, it's so... It, whoa! I, wha okay, take two. Hang on. Let's do a take two. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you, Square. Thank you, Square. Okay, wait, hang on. Let me let me do a better one. The first one was better. The first one was better. Hang on. Also, they're already up there. <laughs> more astonished. I can I can be more astonished. Hang on. God. Oh, they got in the way. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh my god. Oh my oh. Okay. I could probably do better than that. Hang on. There's a better spot, too. There was a better spot. I found a better one, and I don't remember exactly where it was. Oh, man. That was it? I mean, you know, I'll grab a couple of these clips. I, this is probably the best spot for this here, so let me... I got one more in me. I got one more. I'm workshopping the scene here. Play up the nostalgia. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay, I got it. <gasps> oh, that's Junon! Oh! Whoa. Oh, that's dream of the childhood. That is the dream of the childhood. Man. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I can do that a little. One more time. One more time.
Oh my god, that's Junon. Yo! Oh, oh man. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, I've had enough. All right, that'll be that. <laughs> Just seeing the meat's face. <laughs> None of those are going to get chosen, by the way. I'm going to send one of those in. Wh whichever one, I, I, I'm going to watch it tomorrow and see which one I like the best. But... I am actually going to send one of those in. But I also have the moment where Barrett is knocking shit over, where I'm like, chat, every now and then something weird's gonna happen, and like, a, I'm gonna look behind me and a character's gonna have knocked stuff over. And then Barrett knocks stuff over. If they're bold they will show that because it's funny but I don't think they're gonna do it the moment where Sephiroth walks down the hallway with a lot of junk I, I think that counts as maybe going a little bit too far they're not gonna want to show like a ridiculous scene I don't I don't think it's a fun moment compilation so much as it is like the the fucking the rules were something like Cloud. No. Your combat data has revealed the location of the mind flare lurking in the Junon region. It said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a It was like moments of awe. I guess that's the Mind Flayer. Well, I can do that. Baldur's Gate time? Oh yeah, the Mind Flayer. Well, that's also a Dungeons & Dragons thing, right? Just the concept, the word Mind Flayer. I mean, it's in Stranger Things, too. Vinny, we want to see Dog? I don't know where Dog is, what do you mean? Mind Flayer's natural habitat. There's still much we don't know about this creature, so make sure you are well prepared before proceeding. Oh, that is actually a mind flayer. Oh man, no weaknesses. Landing synergy abilities would pressure it. No! Oh no! Oh, I just did. I accidentally did the. Oh no, the meme. Oh no. Deal with that. Need my help for you. I'll show you what I can do.
I have to prey on Cloud. That's it. Can you take over for me? You'll turn this around. I don't think the prey finished. I got this shit. I'm gonna get another prey. What the fuck was that? I didn't realize what was happening, chat. I fucked up. Let's turn this around. Tifa. Dot dot dot. You need to get Cloud back up. That'll do. That's it. I've been dying to see you. Do a limit. Mm, I'm gonna have to heal. Need a breather. I'm up for it. Oh, oh, okay. Fuck. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? I'm having a hard time here, chat. Cascading failure. Can you handle that? I should use a fucking. Oh, I didn't need a potion. <laughs> Oh, you don't need a thing to do the thing. Now I can use it. Okay. Nothing personal. There we go. God, the summon stuff looks so good. Shiva looks so good. Okay. 
Aerith limit break. After you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, not good. Cloud limit break again? Sound of that Barrett. Oh, what a beautiful finale. Cloud, congratulations on this. I like when the menu or the UI is in Chadley's face. Upon your brains, but I'm glad to see my fears were unfounded. Only a true hero could ever have defeated such a malevolent evil. Send Your that clip? Oh, that's not a bad clip. The world one step closer to peace. Thank you, hero. That battle almost went very, very poorly. Someone said something about a dog. What, what's the dog quest? Chat, is it this? The materials for a Wainwright, or what do you mean, dog? It's under Junon. Rhonda's quest, is it worth doing? Okay, let's do it then. Chat is very adamant that this is a good quest. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Your technique isn't. If you can develop your talents more, I get. Isn't Priscilla just adorable? She's the spinning. Hey there, looking to augment Where do they keep the smutty stuff? That's not what I heard, right? Here I am worried about sending like a silly clip where I say the word fuck. It's like I should show that clip. I wonder if there's a healing spell for Aerith that we can we can grab here. Sakyama. Yeah, that's Go good for now. Soon. Yeah, I too uh, would love to get to the story stuff, but you know, gotta save a dog or something. There's the dog. 
Welcome. Need some rooms? There is Fort Condor to be played. I mean, we don't necessarily have to do Fort Condor right the second, but you know. I agree. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, Salmon. it's your job to get him there safe. Oh, it's an escort mission? It doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Yeah, sure. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. All right, chat. This is the dog mission. We're going to do it. I looked away for one second, and I don't know what I'm doing now. Already lost the dog. Dog's gone. Dog is at entrance of town. Welcome to Smooth Brain General, everybody. Cloud, did you really need to jump up there? Yes. This is, remember, Advent Children had them flying around like, uh, Dragon Ball Z characters, actually. Yeah. It's true, though. Not that I like to think about Advent Children all that much. And, and no, it's not complete poop. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get to is going to have to go through me. Someone said, I'm glad this doesn't have Advent Children's tone. I'm glad it doesn't have Crisis Core's tone. Hey, Cloud, remind me, how old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... It's this music. Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Don't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it, but... Herbs. But... Two thousand gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Yes, moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your rights to two grand for sentimentalism. <laughs> it's like, okay, here's an escort mission, but we're still gonna talk and reveal some backstory between, like, Cloud and Barrett. <laughs> Why not? That's another thing I do like about this game, is I like even the side quests and the, the exploration in the world. You know, speaking to the characters being fairly well written for you know a Final Fantasy uh, later Final Fantasy game, but feeling like their original selves to a large degree for me. Maybe some would disagree. I would uh, be willing to hear out people, of course, but for me, 
I'm really happy with the way these characters are written and their voice acting especially and so just like you know knowing that we probably won't get part three for another three or four years or five I probably am gonna do as much as I can in this game just to spend that time you know having the character moments so did people want me to do the dog quest because it's dog? Okay, hear me out. Oh, what? Know how some parents stop the kids from leaving the nest? Claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Love the parents are like that. But I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. <laughs> you think I can't do it. You think I'll keep her all to myself. Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Oh, oh, that broke my heart. And that's why we needed to do the dog quest. I get it now. It's on you. All right. Anyway, let's kill some birds. Bring it home. So it's my turn. Take it over. It's on now. Why is Barrett the best? I think. For me, when I was younger, it's because Barrett was funny. But now that I'm older, I see, like, there's... They kind of took this character that could be one-dimensional, and they gave him a lot of depth. And also, like I said earlier, he does kind of ground the characters a little bit. Like, you're in this fantasy world and all this shit's going on, but Barrett is like... It's like a single dad trying to make it. He's sick of all this wizard shit. And he's not afraid to call something stupid as fuck. And he plays off of Cloud really well, too. He plays off everyone really well, but... And, and there's a character arc, too. And that's not to diminish the other characters in the game, but... I just find Barrett to be... He's fun. He's like a fun character, but with depth. Yeah, and John Bentley does such a good job, too. He's a broken man who tried to find reason in living via hating Shinra. Yeah, he, he, yes, but also that's not something that is overly sustainable. And I think maybe I'm misremembering or reading into it a little too, too much, but at a certain point, when the thing you hate is you're unable to hate it anymore, or you have a bigger threat like Sephiroth, you have to live for other oh, things. Sweet baby girl. Like Marlene. Right Your daddy. Your silly daddy. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna fail you. Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right. Right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah. She won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey. What what is this music?
You have been petrified. Taking a certain amount of damage while in this state will turn you to stone. Okay, these enemies are going to take a little extra doing. Uh, I need to find out how to kill them. Wind. I have to use the spell Areola. Vinny only reads weaknesses and nothing else. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. I get very lazy about it. You can't bring that back up, right? Like, that. you don't just have, like, an index. Hit the touchpad. Oh, thank you. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawned, and once it has vanished, the drake will become pressured. You gotta attack it from behind. I didn't realize there was that level of depth to the enemies, honestly. Just if I can be perfectly honest. Uh, so that's nice to hear. Nice for Aerith to get the final hit once in a while. Does anyone pr uh, say the word salmon or as salmon? Apparently, a couple people. They might be lying. I don't, I don't know. It's possible, but I, you know. Will I fail if I run away now? Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman made it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. You were five seconds away from the end of the quest. Oops. This dog is the key to the ending. This way, and you're still full of energy. Dog. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe and to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. McDonald's. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. 
If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. Oh yeah, Barrett. Take it. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? No. Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Um... Once you do the main quest, Juno will be locked, locked off. Locked off for some time. More Queen's blood here. I don't know, Chad. I kind of want to do the you main story now. Something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Not that long. All right, then this guy can. Uh, oh, this is a whole new area. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. They're smoking hookahs. H hookah. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing out flyers and posting signs is getting old. Oh, piano again. Okay. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect this either. Well... Could have done better. D 
do you get anything for that? Like, or is it just for fun? Need to do A rank. Real- okay, so you're saying I need an A rank for Materia. They get something... okay. I mean, it is a good song, but... the same spot. The metronome of shame, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that exact thing. Close to the star rank, too. Uh, yeah, I just fucked up that one. If that one spot didn't happen... You need 100% play for star. Oh, oh, never mind then. No extra reward. It's just for completionists, I guess. Curious about this old clavier? I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. The what? It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Dorian? Like the Dorian scale? I hope you will aid me in my humble Where's Mixolydian? His competition. The, the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? Or mode, rather, not scale. My HP up material. are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendor. Well, this town wasn't in the original, so I don't know, like, what this is, but... It makes sense that there would be civilizations scattered throughout the region. Like, I'm not surprised. I'm a rambling, rambling fella. Oh, you're going down. You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, way. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage! So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity? Yeah, 
There has been no story. <laughs> I got the Shiva card. When played, spawn diamond dust of power 2, 4, or 6 in empty positions. I kind of want to see what that's like. I never... I have not... Uh, used it yet. Great card if you capture zones quickly. There is more story in the pre-record. <laughs> I don't fully understand it. Don't do it, it'll lock you. Shiva fills green spaces. Fills whatever slots you have pawns on with random choice of two, four, or six level cards. What if I use it here now? Is that good here? I don't get it. <laughs> I still don't get it! You want a ton of pawns with her. No, then you lose. Okay. Take top. Too late. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. So I failed. Melberg, why? I didn't understand Shiva. I didn't get it. Now I get it. I want to, I want to fucking, I want to defeat him. Wait, I lost to Ned, and now I'm losing to Neil. Is it anyone whose name begins with an N? Nick. Norbert. Nor, sorry, Norbit. No bunga. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose so hard to no bunga chat. You have no idea. What a phenomenal card that is for that spot. Top is secured, at least. Is 
Toxic Rat middle. Not sure about that Toxic Rat middle, but this this seems okay. Oh yeah, yeah, this seems great. It yeah, it took me a minute and now I get Shiva, but it's it's really good. Neil, you just got, like, really slaughtered. Like, as bad as, uh, Ned slaughtered me. Toxarat middle one? I, I see that now, yeah. This is a fantastic card game. God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirit rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That boss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time. Give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. There's another community notice board. There's another, there's more scenery. Well, chat, even if I can't come back for a little while, it's okay. I'll come back later. Hey. What were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Yeah! Brittle houses. Isn't Priscilla just an oil? Yes, there's some kind of not. The fuck? That should be the moment. <laughs> I should send that into square. Oh, hey you guys. We talked to Yuffie. Hello. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. The problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, 
I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! <laughs> Even the we're dolphin's sorry. disappointed really? in Cloud. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right, then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. What? No, 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 that's not Zell, that's it's Cloud. Sweet. They look, they have Great. blonde hair, it's different Just characters. Let me know when you're ready to go. You will not be able to return for some time. Yeah. See, Cloud has some, you know, different personality traits. Zell just eats hot dogs. Steer Mr. Dolphin into the beach balls. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this Wave Race? This is Wave Race 64. What the fuck? You can unlock a rideable dolphin in Wave Race 64. Chad, it's Wave Race! How many other games are in this one game? This is silly. This is just silly. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty terrible. So yeah, this is how Cloud actually and legitimately climbs up the tower. And yes, in the original, there was weird dolphin stuff too, so... It's not even that far off. Also, for some reason, one of Tifa's limit breaks summons a dolphin. Why are you controlling this? I uh, no, no reason. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way. is like carrying how much ammunition aside from the fact that his arm is a gun and he's huge anyway Hey Mark 
We're good to go down here. Barrett should have been the center of the weight distribution. Is Cloud certified for this? No. Meet you at the top. This is such a cool location, too. I love it. High wind spotted again. Sometimes I have to, like, think to myself, like, is this real? Is this game actually real? Also, this whole inner room here for this crane was designed just so you could run past it. And, like, not even really spend too much time looking at the stuff on the walls. It's, it's fucking nutty how much goes into games that are this big these days. And for, like, what is ostensibly running down a hallway. That's one thing I noticed about VR, it slows there you, you down. Let's like Half-Life Alex, you really have a chance to like take in all the surroundings. And then they never made another VR game again. I know there's more VR stuff. I know there's some stuff, but I just want there to be more and better even. Okay. Time to win that commendation. How did I miss that? I got so hung up on running down a hallway that I didn't think to look around properly. Gotta be honest, that gun seems very impractical. A security than I thought. More worried about the parade? Oh, you wanted me to react? Whoa! Those things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. And they're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. 
Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Does anyone else think it's a bad idea that this very recognizable group of people that was um, that were wanted for terrorism are now just up this here? Is can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? If you want to check out the parade, take the elevator down. This is amazing. Now until the rehearsal. That's the ticket. I tell you, I never get tired. It's fucking weird jet too. Like the technology, like they're, you know, embellishing some stuff. But the technology of Final Fantasy VII is like a weird alternate reality version of our own. Just a little weirder, a little bulkier. Yeah, they are a little too busy preparing for the uh, events. No, we'll leave them be. For now. They do have, like, iPhones. Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. <laughs> All right. Okay. What is this, Ever Crisis? Yeah, I have no mem no knowledge of this. Vinny derangement syndrome in chat. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wu Tai and What do you mean, Shinra. Magnus Materia? Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. He's fine with it. But war can put things right, beget anger. Desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. I don't know what's happening here. I don't, I don't know if I want it. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. 
You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. <laughs> uh, just normal human things. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. <laughs> yeah, apparently this character's from a mobile gotcha game. He's more entertaining in there. Okay, well, whoever he is, that's, you know, there's some more story. My wife is completely obsessed with the new president. I'm assuming a lot of people are obsessed with the new president. Must be perfect for our new president. Gotta earn that promotion if I'm gonna get out of here. Like, they basically made him a Calvin Klein underwear model, so... So, Cloud, what can you tell us about... He always was, yeah, exactly. ...a military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into a... Kira Elevator. Fortress. ...its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with a president commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it. And make our city proud. <laughs> Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a faster one. I don't know why that's funny to me. It just was. <laughs> Holy shit. You! A jelly fucking Those donut! Pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for the new paymaster. <laughs> this music also now, made an appearance in Final Fantasy IX briefly. But I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town. Are we really going to let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm going to have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We got to straighten this out. <laughs> okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> the city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in. Get close. Get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> <sighs> True enough. Shut up. <laughs> All right. See you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. 
I'm telling you, no. Red 13 could be in a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. <laughs> Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. Thank you. Definitely not, a, uh, definitely not a weird terrorist kind of person. Oh, they're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. Tarantino's final film has pivoted. It's no longer about a movie critic. It is now Final Fantasy VII, the movie. Guess we're going to jail. <laughs> Just you know, be careful with that trigger discipline. I'd say we look the part. Maybe, but don't. Cloud forget. doesn't look the you part. Who the fuck is a regular soldier like this with a Buster sword? <laughs> to assume that you simply forgot sorry sir <laughs> sorry sir you're sorry do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is do you maggot form check now you will give your commander a flawless performance and if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Nice life. Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> the commander is waiting! Sir! Massively over the top. Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That oh, hey, Commander, are we getting business. arrested again? Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up, and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? Okay. Press the corresponding button when the glowing guide marker connects with the panel to improve the drill team's synchronicity and impress the crowd. Whoa! Vocals? Red is tap, yellow is repeatedly tap and teal is hold Let's see what you've got now <laughs> Shinra <laughs>
I, I beefed that first one. I still don't know where the square and the circle are, you know, because every controller has something different on them. I should know these things. Yes. What the fuck is this? It's like the dance mini game from the last one. Now oh, I got this. She looks like Samus from Other M, mixed with Adam from Other M. That was a disgrace! But your confidence, I commend. <clears throat> it serves as a sterling example to the others, man. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. That's a terrible idea. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. I just failed upwards. Captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junon. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the 7th Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now! Make us proud. Ma'am! Ma Assemble your drill team. When you found at least five units, you can fine-tune your performance with L2. Certain units unlock different formations. Successfully improve- What the fuck? Why is there so much of this? Still haven't assembled your team, Captain? I'm sure some of your fellow troopers fell into a bottle or two. Get your team in order, Captain. Apparently this is quite a long sequence, so... Probably gonna have to do this in parts. Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's ten soldiers. And here it is. Troops, Captain. Yeah, just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. I mean, this... <clears throat> this does look a lot like how I pictured Junon would look. Vinny react. Um, why does he look like an underwear model? The new president. 
best reaction I've got. The guy recommends checking out this bookstore. Guys, look. <clears throat> That's his bald brother, Mr. Clean. Mr. Worldwide and Mr. Clean together at last. Reunited. Oh god, this is a bald bar! Entirely! Claude, you know what you must do. R and R's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir, right away, sir. This is so silly. So good. Hey, you think of us? Hey, if you want to drink here, the helmet has to go. I, I like when they, they rub their heads for <laughs> just a second. <laughs> what nonsense. Looking forward to a celebratory drink, sir! Can't wait, sir! Can't wait, sir! Special models made just for the inauguration. Greetings, Captain! In need of some new armaments? Out there, Captain. I'll be rooting for There's you. There's no beating Junon made hardware. Damn, that sword's huge. Only Sephiroth can wield that. Better not mess with the locals if they're packing this kind of heat. You gotta press it hard. Like, damn. For a minute, I forgot I was playing this game, and I thought I was playing Cyberpunk, and I was like, what kind of like, weird ad is that? I was half expecting the, the one with the guy with the, the ass in his face. Cecilia's is one of the oldest shops in the The parade's gonna be broadcast live in Midgar. So we gotta show- Can I help you find anything today? Aquafarm. Vinny, I definitely recommend getting all ten troopers. Feel free to keep browsing. Aquafar. We carry only the finest in materia here. Place is bougie. Increases your luck. We look forward to your next That's visit. Be good to sell your materials here that are close to full. What it? You mean, should I transmute first, and then sell? I'm not gonna... yeah, I'm not too... concerned. 
But I don't mind doing some transmuting. I haven't in a while, so. An oven mitt. Yeah, you can make oven mitts in this game. I'm your new commanding officer, sir. Guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir! That stupid run! <laughs> I wonder what happens if you just, like, have no but Um... What are, you, what are you troops doing? You, you bringing that with you? Uh-huh. Yep. Sir, welcome back, sir. This way. Welcome back, sir. This is your your exercise. This is a drill. You got to bring these things with Ready you. To move when you are, sir. Sir. Good job, troops. Folios. Welcome. Real common. Welcome to the Magical Magnata Books Junon location. If you're looking for some recommendations, we'd be more than happy to name a few of this week's babes for you. My personal pick would definitely be The Final Flight. I swear, none of the other books even come close to topping it. It's a forbidden romance between a commander and her airman. I promise you'll be sobbing like a baby when you get to the part where she orders her true love to charge into battle. Hmm. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. Just spoil the whole goddamn book for me now. I don't need to read it. God, this place is so cool. Be saying it's sticky. Cool. How excited are you I remember to in discovering the word cool spelled like cool. Have been practicing like crazy, day in and day out, drilling every little detail. I just hope that hard work comes through in our performance, and that it gives everyone who came out to support our new president something else to cheer about. I'm sure it will. Uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Don't give a oh. shit. Uh, good day, Captain. You're their captain! This is perfect! If you have a moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, sorry, but... Claude, drop some F-bombs on TV. set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We, uh... Whoa. Right! I see what you mean, Captain! We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! <laughs> Why? Why like that, though? Why like that? They're quirked up. They are quirked up and ready to march. Uh, what's going on in here? Are those Rufus cardboard cutouts? 
It's past time the president showed himself. Where's he been? Not in Midgar, that's for sure. Seeing the world, maybe? Good. He's got a lot to learn. True that. I doubt he's got any idea what Midgar units can do. <laughs> Guess we just gotta go out there and introduce ourselves. Not now, buddy. We're busy. Oh, buddy? Captain, I didn't buddy. realize! Sorry, sir! Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir! sir. So it has been a few years since I've played Final Fantasy VII, so I don't remember the exact differences. Obviously, this was quicker. And I remember... I don't believe you had to recruit in the original. I think you just had to do the marching, right? But there was the parade. You just kind of get right into it. But, you know, they designed this whole giant place, and it's like, well, go around and explore and also recruit the soldiers. It, it like, gives you a reason to explore. Holy fuck. Also, good on the PS5 for handling all this. Seven, ten, huh? Sir! Hundreds of troops were assembled at Junon's aerodrome earlier today. Oh, I'm hearing funny um, furniture noises, chat. I think they're running into chairs. The stress. My stomach can't handle it. You better hit the head before the parade starts. No. Diarrhea. If I go now, then I'll end up at least. Don't talk to me. I'm trying to study. I need to hold it until the absolute last second. Okay, but don't hold it too long. Chadley, what are you doing here? Good day. Is there something I can help you with? Scanning. Potential research candidate confirmed. Hmm. Huh. Cloud? Why in the world are you wearing Chadley, don't say that too loud. On second thought, forget I asked. The less I know about your undercover pursuits, the better. Should you require assistance, let me know. Now then, Captain, how might I help you today? By the way, Cloud, have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto relic I mentioned before? If not, don't worry. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. Anyway, just checking in. Guilt Triply. Please don't talk to me. I'm trying to study. I don't have time to watch the lights. Uh, Chadley, it's funny because Chadley and Wesley sound very similar. So I can picture Picard saying, Shut up, Chadley. Vin, there was a basement. Basement. There's so many shops that it's hard to choose. Uh, hey, soldiers. Sir, welcome back, sir. You know, welcome back, sir. Hundreds of troopers. Hmm. 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 It's best that combination is as good as Oh, hey there, Captain. Are you ready for the did, parade? Did you just jump down? <laughs> Hmm, I wonder who this is. No way. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> hey! Oh. Uh, hey there! Uh, I was 
just checking my uniform. Uh, for Lynn. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. <laughs> Where did he get the hook arm? <laughs> ha ha, very funny. I could have shot you. You look... What? Wow. <laughs> it's not like I had a choice. Nothing else fit. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I checked. I love him. <laughs> and y'all, uh, look like you're fitting in. Yeah. Nobody's better than I. We're gonna win the president's commendation. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Think you mean I'm rooting for you? Honestly, they're all great. They're all just fantastic. There's a lot of troopers in town, especially by the port. Because of the crowds, no doubt. As long as we keep our heads down, we'll be okay. The Midgard troopers got this locked up. Where's Red 13? If you look overhead, you'll see our famous Mako Cannon, the pride of Junon. It's no longer in use due to our ceasefire with Wuta. Wow. Wow, there's the gun. Dream of the childhood. There's so many polygons. It shoots. That gun shoots so far. I've seen it, Chad. I've seen it. It's not limp. It shoots good. That giant gun's just for show, right? What? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh, um, I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at the size of that cannon. Yeah. This would be a fun place to have a cup of coffee. And then have all these nerds looking at you. Boy, that's a lot of pressure on Cloud. I realize that's what my chat's doing right now. I just can't see them because they're behind the screen. <laughs> it's the same thing, though. No, we're not ready yet. Love this theme too. Alright. Ooh, perfect timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? Whenever you're ready, sir. It's a really cool cannon. That looks like it's a, a bunch. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is This is really something. It's a really nice postcard. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir. Just want to slice it in half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything. Shame I can't take this baby home. But you know, the smaller ones are real beauty, too. The Masterworks Mako Cannon? Oh, yeah. It's as good as bought. That's what I'm talking about. Can't find it anywhere else. Man, I can't wait to put it together. Perfect merch opportunity. Hmm? Well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model, too? Take the helmet, you dipshit. <laughs> Captain, please forgive me, sir. Break time's over. <laughs> Outside. Now. Right away, sir. sir. Oh, man. That, just that little comment was enough. I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, overly... Like, susceptible to this stuff because it's Final Fantasy VII. 
or because it's been weirdly amusing so far. This whole sequence has had a really good sense of humor about itself, so I, I've been I've been enjoying it. Check the helmet, dipshit. Am I not a commanding officer? This is my band of weirdos. <laughs> Look at them. Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By Sense of smell. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. Children won't stop staring. Have they so much as try to pet me? He's got tattoo. I love that little held note in the song. I don't know where else to go. Upstairs in the bookstore? Yeah, I didn't actually go in here too much. Hey, what do you think about this brooch? It's fine. You think my girlfriend would like it? Let me take a closer look. This brooch has two machine guns on it, and you want to give it to your girlfriend? Bro. Yeah, you're right. Bro. I should go with the two bayonets. I bet she'll love that. Oh, <laughs> Captain. Perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. R&R's <laughs> over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir! sir. <laughs> Two more. I'm shocked at how much I'm enjoying this, and we haven't fought an enemy in, like, an hour. I don't mean the game, I just mean this whole sequence, like, just exploring the city, and talking to weirdos. Um, okay, any other suggestions, chat? I don't know where else, uh, I, I looked in a lot of different spots. Basement of the barracks. And stairs past the no access ones. I will say this, if I find more of my drawings in my old notebooks, if I find more of those notebooks from around the time this game came out, the amount of cloud drawings and like Sephiroth or like Barrett, all the characters, yeah. From last week? Yeah, from last week. Well, this is, like, really upscale. So, yeah. Once the parade's over, I'll be officially joining the counter-terrorism unit. Shit! I know. They haven't even told me where I'm gonna be stationed. This sucks. Well, we'll just have to make the most of the time we got. Well, uh, 
Elena. Oh my god. This is the motorbike music. That's amazing. Look at her knees? Why do you want me to look at her knees, chat? That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, the lighting is a little weird. Those are just knees. Some people have weird knees. I don't know. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet. Oh, Captain, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, sir. Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, sir. Yeah, the, the lighting. I think they're working on. Hamaguchi said they're going to be working on the lighting and on uh, performance mode, not looking like a Vaseline smeared asshole. And so, if they do that, that would be that would be fantastic. Chad, I kind of really want to hang out at Junon. I, I want to just just want to spend like a couple couple hours here. Um, where's them barracks? You missed the building? This? Oh yeah, it is this. Is pretty tight too. Not that beats the riot troopers Shiva formation. It's rock solid. Hmm. If only we could come up with a formation that allowed all of our troops to shine. Is his dong the vibrating? Recommendation would be as good as ours. Huh. Captain. Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh. That depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! I don't buy it, Cloud. Chat, this sequence that we're about to do, is this something that's gonna take a while? It's gonna take a while, isn't it? Very long. Alright, well, we'll stop here. Because it is now almost 2 a.m. And that's, that's, uh, that's good. I enjoyed this whole sequence. Keep your boots and helmet polished and you'll go far. It looks like M. Bison from Street Fighter. That is a lot of soldiers. Vinny, you have so many Pikmin. Oh, that's right, you can even... Yep, yep, I see. Security officers, security officers. Performance sure to give the crowd chills. Input count low. Guaranteed show to show the crowd that seventh uh, patriotism burns bright. 
expected to give a speech on the future of the company. A new day is dawning for Shinra, and our city is eager to greet it with open arms. The Freed Formation, guaranteed to show the crowd that the Seventh's patriotism burns bright. Input count high. Bahamut Formation, performance as tough as worm scales. Input count high. All the specialist ones give you the highest difficulty. Yeah, it looks like it. Shiva Formation. Ramu Formation. Higher difficulty means higher score. You get bonuses like story-wise and item-wise. Wow. In a few hours, he will take part in his inauguration parade through Starboard Juno. After which, he is expected to give a speech on the future of the company. A new day. All right. Well, that'll be next time. Oh, right. Barrett's in a sailor outfit. <laughs> really, really enjoying this chat. Thank you for watching. This has been a shocking amount of fun. Uh... Again, is it a perfect remake? No. Is it a remake? No. <laughs> Not entirely. But uh, as a reimagining of events and just seeing like their take on it now, I'm feeling like uh, more and more I'm feeling like they struck the right tone and they, they figured out how to avoid some of the pitfalls of Crisis Core and Advent Children and bring Final Fantasy VII into like some goofy territory. Will it continue to impress? Will it fall apart? I don't know. Let's keep going. We'll find out. Thank you for watching, though. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Does the original still exist? Oh, right. I forgot. Uh, no, actually. I took it away. Sorry. It's gone. Good night, chat. And again, if you want to watch some other side quest stuff, watch the full sauce video at the very beginning. You will uh, see a little bit more. Goodbye.